Hey everybody, welcome to G. Parker's Arcade Room. I have been having such a blast uh, playing my pinball, playing my arcade games, but I've uh, been basically playing this Nintendo Switch. Well, I say playing the arcade games. I've, I've got the Nintendo Switch and I've been playing so much of the new Nintendo Switch bo uh, bo sports and the bowling, and I played some of the badminton, some of the tennis, but uh, you may have seen in one of my past live streams, I uh, got together with uh, Off Grid Arcade, Mike CB's Gaming, got one planned for Mr. Postal, uh, going to try to get one together with him too, but uh, I've been playing so much with that bowling that I just kind of got away from playing some of the arcade games, but I still want to mess with my Switch, so I... Realized that I had the uh, Namco uh, Arcade Museum pack in here, and I thought, hey, you know what? I'll just throw together a little uh, stream for you uh, playing this uh, Galaga. I've got Alec Galaga 88 queued up there. I want to play the regular Galaga first here, so uh, let's see how this works out. Put this in normal mode. You know what? I just realized I don't need these. Yeah, let's get a little sound on here. And let's get a coin dropped in here. And let's play this. Let's play a little. Galaga. Now, this is showing up as a live recording. And this is pre recorded material. Now, you know, before I got into this YouTube and got so many people that I subscribed to and got into enjoying this uh, and all the great content that's out there, which I'm just going to say this I'm going to give a shout out to all my friends on YouTube. And you know who you are. And if I don't, I don't have a list in front of me, so I'm afraid to start listing names. Uh, I'll forget somebody, and I, I don't want to make anybody feel bad. However, I did mention Off Grid Arcade, Mr. Postal, and Mike CB's Gaming, who uh, have been great playing along with me on this Nintendo and bowling and other things. And I also want to give a big shout out to Retro Arcade Music Man who is the, uh, actually I met him through my Galaga video. He's a Galaga fan. I don't think he's as big a Galaga fan as he is a Pac-Man fan. I don't know if that guy's a big Pac-Man fan. But uh, anyway, he's the king of telling stories and playing games, which I am obviously not because I already lost a ship here. So, but uh, what I was going to talk about is live TV. And if you've ever watched any of the late night talk shows, which I got to go see a taping when they're all taped, uh, the tonight show, I went to go, I happened to be in LA and, uh, I was fortunate enough to get tickets, which are free, but you have to be there at the right time, right place. And I got to go see uh, Jay Leno. I knew he was getting ready to step down the first time. <laughs> I've always wanted to see how they do one of those shows, but they're they're pre-recorded, but they do them as if they're live. Man, the challenge stage now. So what happens is, is uh, they record those ahead of time and then distribute them. Dog, gone it. And it's funny to watch it being taped because when they go to a break, the band starts playing and they say they're going to commercial. Well, that's what happens. The band plays. And you sit and listen to the band play while you're in the audience. And basically not much is happening. As a matter of fact, the producers and directors are over talking to Leno. And he even said in the beginning when he was explaining to us what we were about to see, he says, I don't even talk to my guests while we're at the break because when I come back, 
I want to continue right where we left off and don't want to get in the middle of a story or get ahead of a story and rehash it. He doesn't want to mess it up. So he does not talk to his guests. It's kind of funny. But there's other people come over and talk to the guests and they're basically redoing their mics or touching up their makeup and uh, or whatever it may be. So anyway, but they are taped broadcasts. And I believe that's the same with the uh, Jimmy Kimmel and, uh, you know, of course, all of them have changed. To be honest with you, I don't watch the new ones. Uh, again, I've gotten too much into watching the YouTube and the people on YouTube and uh, spend my evenings doing that, being down here and catching up on the live streams, doing my live stream. So, uh, so anyway, that's what this is, is this is a pre-recorded. It's being put out as a live stream. It's kind of similar to YouTube's way of doing a premiere. You can record a video and put it out as a premiere with, with the StreamYard software that I use for having guests and whatnot. It allows me to record on their servers. And again, this will be unedited. I, uh, you know, it is what it is, but it's recorded as if it's live. And then what they do is I pick a time and tell them to set it up for me and broadcast it. The nice thing about this is I can enjoy the chat, too. Now, that doesn't mean my Sunday night shows, I'm planning on still doing it 10 p.m. Central Time and uh, being there live when I do it. Although, if I have a guest on that maybe I can't uh, get the timing right with them to come on that late, I might pre-record the show and then put it out at 10 o'clock. And, again, I'll be here live in the chat with you. Just, again, kind of like when you do a premiere, you basically upload a video. They just call this a, they just don't call it a premiere. They call it going live. So now that I've made that clear as bad, I've managed to avoid being killed, though, while telling the story as poorly as I may have described it. But, ooh, that was close. But long story short, this is our short story long. This is uh, a pre-recorded content. Uh, me playing Galaga, and I think y'all know my story. If you don't, uh, this game, arcade game, the arcade version uh, in the cabinet, was at a restaurant that I frequented quite a bit back when I lived in Kansas City proper. I've moved out to suburbs now, but uh, I uh, they had this game in there, and I'll tell you what, I put more quarters in this game. The restaurant closed, and I read on Facebook that the uh, new owner took it over and was remodeling it. And I wrote to him and asked him what happened to the Gallagher game. And I told him I'd be interested in buying it. And he said he'd let me know. And then so many people saw my post on Facebook that they started saying, no, don't get rid of the Gallagher. He said it wasn't working. But he was going to get it fixed and put it back in the restaurant. So uh, with that being said, he would not sell it to me. But I have not been back down to the restaurant to see if they've actually got it up and running yet. I know the restaurant's open. If you're ever in Kansas City, Missouri area, go to Paul's Drive-In. It's on Blue Ridge in South Kansas City. And that's Kansas City, Missouri, by the way. And uh, check out Paul's Drive-In. Because if you're in the area and you've been there, you'll know how good it is. And if you haven't been there and you're in this area, uh, you should go. Because it's uh, some great food. And uh, again, there's... No paid promotion. I don't even know the owner other than talking to him on Facebook and about buying his game, which he would not sell me, which was disappointing because I, I played that cabinet so much. That would have been great in my arcade room. Dad, come at. I just can't seem to break 20,000. My score is 39,980. Anyway, I said I wasn't going to give any shout-outs because I don't want to miss anybody, but doggone it, I just got to mention my good friend, uh, Arcade Chaos. I'll tell you what, he's a great participant, and he puts out a lot of content, a lot of good content, fun gameplay, uh, sh shares my stuff on his channel. He's real generous, uh, super great guy. Well, check him out. And I also have to mention UAG, your average gamer, who 
was actually uh, one of the first people I did actually gaming with on his channel. And uh, you can look it up. I actually uh, played a little pinball against him on his channel back when it was a new and upcoming channel. And he's a pretty big channel right now. So don't forget to check out your average gamer. And don't forget to check out Arcade Chaos. And again, there's so many great ones out there. And uh, you need to check them all out because uh, you can do a search and you can find just so many great channels with great a variety of everything. I know uh, I'm not big into the fighting games. I'm more into the shoot em up games. And I'm more into pinball than anything. You should see my channel primarily features pinball but uh i do love these uh these shooting type games and uh, stuff like pac-man donkey kong some of the old classics burger time burger time just great dig dugs another great one great title and I love them because I can. I've got numerous ways to play a lot of these games. Uh, Raspberry Pi. I've got my At Games Legends Ultimate. I've got the At Games Mini, not the Mini Cabinet. I got the Mini Deck, kind of a fight stick deck system. And I got the. Uh, so uh, I've got those, and uh, we, we've got a lot of these classic games. I'll tell you another one that I haven't mentioned enough of. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it before, but uh, I love elevator action. I'll have to get that out sometime and play elevator action. I, that, that's just a fun game. I'll, I'll have to get that out and play it and do a video on that. Well, I made it to 14.930, and I've still got it. All my lives, but I jinx myself by saying that stuff. Now, I do personally think this is fun playing on this switch. I've got it set up on the TV mode or the monitor mode. You know, you can play a handheld. But I will say this, I think this game, I do better at it in the actual arcade cabinet uh, with the actual joystick and the big fire buttons and stuff. It just seems like i just not as good with the controller. But, again, it just takes some work and effort. Boy, I'll tell you what, I lucked out right there. I fished right between a couple of them there. Okay, there we go. One down. I have had so I've caught so many breaks here. But you guys got to admit, Galaga is just kind of like a. And you remember Galaxian? 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 Galag, I can't pronounce it. Galaxian or Galaxian? Yeah, the Galaxian. That's it. Is uh, I think it was the first one. And they came out with Galaga, and then there's Galaga 88, which is, the graphics are cool on the sound effects even more so, and it's a little more complicated. I just can't help it. Galaga is a great arcade classic. And I dodged the bullet on that one. I'm going to beat my high score. I'm going to jinx myself here. Okay, another challenge stage. Oh, 
Okay, let's see what we got. A number of hits. Oh, I'm so close, but yet so far. I think I may be on a roll, though, to a high score here on my skin. Oh, well, I did receive the high score, and I've got two more left, so. Of course, now's not the time to get lazy. Oh, what do I have to go and say that for? Oh, look at that. Look at that. 43,720. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Considering I was shooting a video and... Uh... Oh, oh, I better get my name in there. Okay, how do I do it? Oh. B E G and yes, G P V. Everybody, hang on just a second. Oh, it's uh, the unknown gamer has come down and told me that it's time to eat. So uh, I guess that was perfect timing. I beat my high score. It says you are not connected to the ranking service. Do you want to connect and upload your ranking data? Well, absolutely. I got a high score. Okay, everybody. That was fun. Galaga on the Nintendo Switch here on a pre recorded live broadcast for you. And uh, I'll pick a time, get this uh, uploaded, and get it going. And uh, at least I get to chat with y'all during this. So uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one. And uh, thanks for stopping by uh, G. Parker's Arcade Room. See y'all next time. Bye now.